Some of these guys, they love the physical side of it. And even the knuckles. And he hearing that smack, it kind of gives them a buzz. I played that guy, Jake the Muss. I was conscious that when I walked in the room that I wanted everyone to sort of kind of feel on edge. Ooh, is he going to punch me? Is he going to look at me in a nice way? Sometimes it's silence, sometimes it's stillness. And to achieve that, you really got to get stuck in and believe it, and believe it and believe it so much so that it becomes part of your makeup. That character's there with me for life now. And I remember one day I was just so exhausted and um, I found myself stuck ranting and raving and screaming and yelling and I, I really had to stop myself. When you're making the film, you're not really thinking of the implications of the movie. We put on our clothes, our leathers, and we put our tattoos on, and then it came time to finish the day's filming. We were able to rub all the tattoos off, just take our leathers off and put our clothes on, go home to our normal life. Whereas a lot of our people, they can't rub their tattoos off. They can't take their leather jackets off. That is their life. They're stuck. They're stuck in that movie. I, I do get a sense from the young man. They kind of look up at Jake and glorify him in a way. To me, that upsets me because they, they don't really see the bigger picture. And women could actually relate to the movie that were in that predicament. I know each individual case is different, but uh, that's what I ask myself. Why the bloody hell don't you just get, pack your bag and get the hell out of there? They're in a situation where uh, leaving seems more vulnerable. They're used to the violence as well. It becomes quite normal. Fear that they'll get more abuse if they do leave. Fear for the kids. So here we are now in the year 2016, 20 years since once we're warriors, but the problems got worse. We speak of Fano, we speak of Aroha. We say all these words, but I think we're just saying the words. So we need the women's refuge. We need our people, our communities to give, to give a little bit more, to help our women. And without them, I think a lot of these women would have nowhere to go.